Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through how to install Zorin OS 15. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot that disk, and then finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. I'm here on the ZorinOS.com website where I'm going to go ahead and download Zorin from. So let's first start out by going to the download section, hit download at the top, and then we'll scroll through here a little bit. As you can see, there are a couple different versions you can select from. You got the Zorin OS 15 Ultimate. So it comes with a couple standard things here. You can read about it. Now, this one does cost money. It says $39 for this one. And if you keep scrolling down, you can go ahead and see they have a f free version as well, the Zorin OS 15 Core, which comes with the essentials here. And it tells you a couple things it comes from. So you got LibreOffice as well as Windows and Touch desktop layout. So we want to go ahead and try out Zorin OS 15. So let's go ahead and do the download for free. And it will ask you for a email address in order to sign up for their newsletter and download. But you can also just go ahead and hit the skip to download button at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and just do that. We can sign up for their newsletter later if we enjoy the operating system. So go ahead, hit allow and your download should begin right away. And as you can see, the default download is the 64-bit version of Zorin. They also have uh, a 32-bit version available if needed. If you're new and stopping by today to watch a install, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more installs in the future. Now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch and use the Belena Etcher app in order to flash the image onto a USB, CD, or DVD of my choice. Belena Etcher is an easy to use application and is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk, such as UNEP Bootin. So the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and select an image, and that's the image that we just got done downloading, which is the Zorin OS 15 Core 64-bit version of Zorin. Go ahead and select that and hit open. And then next, we'll go ahead and put in our disk or USB that we want to flash to. So give me a moment. Make sure that this USB, CD, or DVD has nothing on it currently because you will be erasing all of its contents and flashing the Zorin image onto it for the installer. You can also hit the change button to select between multiple different medias that you want to flash. So select the proper one and then once you have it selected you could hit continue. Finally you'll hit the flash button and it will begin writing the installer to your disk. And after you flash the disk you'll take it over to the computer or server where you want to install Zorin OS 15 on and then insert it. Then you'll have to boot into your BIOS in order to change the settings around and select the newly created bootable disk to boot first. This is usually done by finding the correct key to boot into your BIOS for your particular computer. Usually it's one of the F keys, like F2 or F10. Then finding a tab, usually called boot order, and then exchanging the order so that the bootable disk is first. After you have that set up, you will save and exit out of your BIOS and you should see a screen similar to this if you did everything correctly. All right, and if you see this screen, you've successfully made it to the install portion. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button, it really does help me out. There's a few, option he There's a few options here. With the one we want is the very first one, to try or install Zorin OS because we want to install it. You also have the option of trying and installing Zorin OS for modern NVIDIA graphics cards with their modern NVIDIA drivers here below if you need that option. But this one is good for me. So give it a moment here to go ahead and load into the system and get the installer going. And here's the welcome screen for the installer. You can do two options here. You can try Zorin OS, so boot into the live image of Zorin. 
and give it a shot. Or you can go ahead and install Zorin permanently on a storage disk. That's the option that we want. So we're going to hit install Zorin OS and we can select what language on the left hand side we want to use for the installer. English is fine for me. So after I hit install Zorin OS, it's going to begin asking me a few questions here. So the keyboard layout is first. You can use the detect keyboard layout if you're uncertain, but English US, the default, is fine for me. You can also use this text field in order to test your keyboard. As you can see, I typed in QWERTY and that's what came out. So I know that mine is working properly. I'll go ahead and hit the continue button after I'm confident in my layout choice. And then you get a few other options about updating and other software. So a couple options here is that you can download updates while installing Zorin. And you can also install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. And it says additional media formats. I'll go ahead and select both of them and hit continue since I do want the proprietary graphics drivers here. And I'll hit continue. And on the next screen, it asks you about how you want to install Zorin OS on your storage device and which installation type you want to go with. So you have a few options here. You have the erase disk and install Zorin OS. So it tells you right here, it will delete everything that's currently located on, located on your storage device. So make sure that you have a clean storage device where you have no data on it. That way the installer can erase everything and use the entire disk for Zorin. And that will be the option that we select. You may get a few more other options if you have another operating system on the storage disk that you are trying to install Zorin on, such as installing it alongside another operating system. But you'll always have this option here, which is to erase the disk and install Zorin OS by itself. The other options that you have is you can encrypt the Zorin OS installation for security purposes. This is just another form of security in order to encrypt your disk and you'll have to type in a password that you want to use for your disk. That way people have to type in two passwords in order to get into the computer. Following that is to use an LVM, which is a different type of partitioning scheme that, that sets up a scheme that helps you easier resize the partition later down the line whenever you need to add more storage space. This is particularly good for virtual machines if you're using them. And then of course you have the more advanced option which is the something else option. We'll go ahead and select just the erase disk and install Zorin OS option and then I'm going to go ahead and hit install now. At this point it's telling you that it will be writing changes to the disk and erasing everything else on it. So if you're confident that you're ready to go you can go ahead and hit continue. And now you can pick your time zone. So today I'll be in Vancouver and hit continue. First thing it's asking for on this page is who you are. So what's your name? So if Savvy Nick is good for me. Savvy Nick is what I'm going to name the computer. My username will also be Savvy Nick. Put in a password and make sure to confirm that password for your new user that you're set setting up. And then you have one option here, which is to log in automatically or require a password when you log in. I like being logged in automatically. I don't like having to put a password in every time I reboot the computer, but you can choose whatever you like. Just know if you select the log in automatically option that anybody can log into your computer without your password by simply rebooting it. Once you have your option picked, go ahead and hit continue. And at this point, Zorin will start installing on your computer. Zorin OS is an Ubuntu-based stable release distribution whose main focus is to serve users a similar environment to Windows. This makes it a great place for beginners to start who are transitioning for the first time to Linux from Windows. And it even offers the ability to run some very familiar Windows programs since it uses flat pack and snap as a package management system. It also includes deb for people more familiar with Linux. So we'll give this a few moments to finish up and install here.
And while rebooting, you'll want to make sure to go ahead and remove the installation media that you have in the computer so you don't boot back into the live image of the system, or you'll have to reboot once again to get your newly installed system running. So let's go ahead and hit the Restart Now button. Give it a moment here to go ahead and restart. And it's telling you here to go ahead and it's safe to remove your media. So go ahead, unplug that USB from your computer or CD, DVD, and then press enter at this time. It will take a few moments to boot back into Zorin here. And finally, after everything has booted in, you'll be welcomed by your new Zorin OS 15 desktop environment. Congratulations, at this point you have installed Zorin successfully. So we'll go ahead and go around Zorin real quick just to kind of review it a little bit. So on the bottom you see that you have your taskbar, very similar to how Windows is laid out. On the far right you see the time in the day. And then to the left of that, you see just a few options here, such as volume control, your current connected network control, as well as battery life if you have a laptop computer, the user that's logged in, and then a few options at the bottom where you can change your settings around, lock or suspend the computer, and to shut down, restart, or log out of a user. On the left-hand side, you have your software manager as well as a file manager and the default web browser, which is Firefox. If you hit the Zorin symbol, you get a pop-up for what basically looks like a start menu, which has its subcategories, and you can select from apps in there. It also tells you what user is currently logged in, and some directories for that user on the right-hand side. You can always search for different types of files or programs on the computer, in the search bar and then on the right side again power off lock or log out of the computer. Well I hope you enjoyed this installation tutorial of Zorin OS 15 and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions please post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.